been all over the world, but I hadn't started traveling until late into my 20s around the world. So I could also say to students, don't fear. I mean, yeah. there's plenty of time <laughs> for things in life, you know? It's true. But, but I also feel like it's really important to understand the, um, that when you go to another country, the very first thing, especially when there's other languages, is how humbling it is. Because you realize how much you need other people in order to simply get through the simplest things. Find a bathroom, get on the airplane, buy food, sleep at night. And when those things get broken down, then so do all of the, 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 the hierarchy that we set up in life. Because it may be a man missing his teeth helping you get to the bathroom or helping you find your bed, suddenly all the things that divide us actually unite us. And I think that was a really fascinating thing to learn as you travel around the world. The judgments we have can disappear when you're actually need, you know, needing other human beings to survive. So it's a good challenge. You'll go out in other parts of the world and you'll have exciting adventures but you'll also have a lot of humbling moments that make you reconsider how you look at those people around you.